Shalom everyone. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. This is a day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. One thing I tell us every day is that whenever you wake up in the morning, stay away from people that start their day by complaining, crying their head, their back, their neck, or their stomach. Hallelujah. And if you are such a person, deliver yourself now in the name of Jesus. Wake up as a soldier. Speak positive words upon your life. For in Jesus' mighty name. You are seeing this face for your first time. God bless you. My name is Basil. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I'm the man God is using. I strongly believe on the word of God that says, one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand. Hallelujah. Subscribe to become part of this family so together we join our hands as, and chase the thousand as promised by the Lord for in Jesus' name. If you have not yet subscribed, that means you're the only one remaining. Please don't go without subscribing, liking and sharing in Jesus' name. This particular prophetic word title says, your neighbor is keeping an eye on your daughter. Your neighbor is keeping an eye on your daughter. There is one thing I tell people. There is no smoke without fire. Praise Master Jesus. There is no smoke without fire. Many a time I see things from, from afar. Hallelujah. Not even that God revealed it to me. I just see from afar, from afar as a man. I will be able enough to sense what is going on. So this particular prophetic word is talking about somebody there is an eye on your daughter. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says there is a time for everything. A time to plant and a time to harvest. And every season comes with signs. And seasons are powerful. Praise Master Jesus. One of the examples I always tell people is that if a small girl, a small child at the age of eight comes to you and say, I am pregnant, you will not take it serious because the child is very, very young and the child is ignorant of what she is saying. Because one thing you know that eight years child does not know anything. Hallelujah that can lead her to say, I am pregnant. Why? Because that little child has all the possibility to be out of season. So now, but if a, if a young woman at the age of 20 tells you, I am pregnant, even if she's lying, you'll be afraid. Do you know why? Because she is in her seasons that can hear fruit of what she is telling you. So, these are the first point. So there are times you can neglect your daughter. There are times you can look at your child and you don't think of anything bad. But there are times that when you look in the life of your child, you must keep an eye. Praise Master Jesus. There are moments you can look some certain things and ignore. But there are some moments if you look at those things, definitely you need to be very careful. So this particular prophetic was say, keep an eye on your daughter. Hallelujah. Because your neighbor. There are people right now saying, Pastor Bazi, please, may I really know, listen to me. I'm talking to us physically as a man, spiritually as a pastor. Okay, if I'm to keep my pastor's title aside to talk to us as a man, I will tell us that there is no smoke without fire. Hallelujah. Whenever you see your daughter, whenever you see a man hanging beside a young lady, even if nothing is going on, that smoke, there is fire somewhere. This is out of experience what I have witnessed, what I've seen, what I've heard. 
So whenever you realize you notice that you have seen somebody roaming around your daughter and you know that your daughter is already on her season of danger as a woman, you need to be very careful. Very, very careful. God revealed to redeem. There are times we we'll just leave our children with anybody. My daughter is with my neighbor. My daughter is with my best friend. My daughter is like this. Listen, when you see two female agenda, two agenda, male and female, for them to be together in the same place, especially somewhere hidden, is not good. Where there are only the two of them is not good. At that particular point, and in that particular place, that environment can give birth to anything. It can give birth to anything because temptation might be there. Even when the woman don't want, the devil will push the man. Even when the man don't want, the devil will push the woman. A lot of people say, I can resist. There is nobody that can resist. Apostle Paul taught us that flee. So this particular prophetic word is just letting you to know that there is somebody keeping an eye on your daughter. You need to be very, very careful. It's not all about spirituality. It's not all about prayers. The Lord is asking of you keeping a physical eyes on your daughter. God wanted to keep a physical eyes. Praise Master Jesus. Because the enemy is planning to destroy the life of your daughter. I'm going to pray. God revealed to redeem and my prayer for somebody is that any plan of the wicked in the life of your daughter, may it not prevail and may it not come to pass. For in Jesus' mighty name, only God can protect our children. Because now our days, we don't trust anyone. You might be with your own child in the house, but what she's doing, you, you can swear that she can't do such a thing. But meanwhile behind, she's doing the things. We are just going to pray that God will help our children. Somebody put it at the comment section. Lord, help my daughter. Somebody type it at the comment section. Father, help my daughter. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. May the Lord help your daughter in the name of Jesus. May the Lord help your daughter in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.